Welcome back to another Audacity tutorial. In this video, we're going to be playing with some different effects. The ones we're going to do are changing the speed, changing the tempo, and changing the pitch. Uh, so to get started, let's go ahead and just um, let's record in some voice so that we can get a good idea for what's happening here. This is test audio testing one, two, three. Okay. So now we have our audio in here. If we play it back, it sounds just like it did when I said it. This is test audio testing one, two, three. Um, so if we want to change the speed of this, change it so it plays back faster, that's kind of more, uh, one of the most common things. Um, first of all, like we learned in our last video, we have to make a selection. So if we go to effects and go down to change speed, we're going to get this kind of an error message and just saying, or this dialogue that says you need to make a selection first. We can press Control A to select all, so Control A. We can also just select all by ourselves, like doing this. Doo, doo, doo. Or we can just select uh, any portion that we want to increase the speed. But I'm going to do select all. There's another way to do it is go to select and then go to all. And then we can go to effects and speed, change speed. And then this is sort of like we did with the amplification. We have a slider bar here. And we have some different numbers. So if we change the speed multiplier down to zero, again, we're going to be, oh, actually the percent change to, is zero. If we change the percent, uh, this to zero, and the speed to one, it's going to be same speed. Nothing will change. So we do OK. So that's kind of our baseline. One, two. Um, so knowing that, we can change the speed to either faster or slower to be either less than one on the multiplier or more than one. So if we did two here, it would be twice as fast. And it was so it would be 100% increased by 100%. If we did 0 0.5, it would be 50% of the normal speed. So you can control either one of these. These two boxes are linked. So let's just do this real quick. Let's do the 50%. Let's do it half as fast as it's normally supposed to be. So we go OK. And then we see what first of all happened. Our first rec audio recording was four seconds long or four and a half, I guess, and now it's like nine seconds long because it's half the speed, so it takes twice as long to play that. So let's play and see. So it's just slow motion like you would imagine. Let's go undo. We click this back arrow here, or we can press Control z on the keyboard. It's still selected, so let's go to Effects, Change Speed, and now let's we can type in if we want to do two, but we can also use the slider to get it kind of a more granular. So let's go to, let's do it about maybe 1.76, and then we go OK. So now you see it's almost, instead of being four and a half seconds, it's only two and a half seconds. So it's going to be much quicker because it's playing faster. So we'll play this. Test audio testing one, two, three. And you notice the pitch of my voice changed too. When it was long, it was very low. It was a lot lower because it, it slowed down. I guess what I'm saying is not only did it slow down the audio, it also, in the process, lowered and raised the pitch of my voice. So it's like high pitch now. Test audio, testing one, two, three. Um, and so the way we can change that, if you want to s speed something up slightly, but you don't want to increase the, the pitch, maybe it's music and you don't want to throw off the key, let's go back. The thing we can do is we can actually go to effects, change tempo. And what that's going to do is change the speed. It's going to change how quickly the file, the wave is being played, but it's not going to adjust the pitch. So we can select all of this. Let's go Control A to select all, and let's go Effect, Change Tempo. So now we can change the tempo and have it be played um, one and a half times faster than it normally is. Wait, uh, percentage? Maybe this needs to be. Uh, so actually, let's play it 150% normal than it needs to be, or than it was regularly, and we click OK. So now look, it shrinks it down, but now if we play, I don't think my voice will be high-pitched. You see, so it's my, my voice is the same pitch as it is now, it's just playing through much faster. I'm going to do Control-Z. I'm going to do Control-C and Control-V, so we have this twice. And we're going to I'm going to show them back to back so we see what's happening here. Let's go to effect, change speed. Let's make this one um, 1 1.5, or actually, so we're doing the same thing. We'll make it 150%, and we, or let's just make it 100%. We'll go okay, 
and then let's select this part. I just double click on it to select just that area because see there's a little separation between them. And we go effects, change tempo, and let's change this to 100 and go okay. So now we can play these two. And one is, they're both the same. They both take about two seconds long to play, but one is gonna be a higher pitch. This is test audio, test B, one, two, three. This is test audio, test B, one, two, three. You see what I'm saying? So they, these both have the same tempo, but they have a different pitch. I'm gonna come to the end here and do control V and paste this file again. This is the original again. This is test audio, testing one, two, three. So if I double click this and select it all, we can go to effects. And this third thing we can change is the pitch. So if we change the pitch of this, we can actually change the pitch and make me talk in a different key. So it's saying right now, I don't know if this auto detects, I'm not actually exactly sure, but this is saying change it from F. So if any note, if any, yeah, basically if there's anything that was an F will get changed to uh, down to a G sharp or A flat, if, you're, if you understand music. And so it's going down 8.84 semitones. And so we can adjust this too, or it's also in, so this is if we want to do pitch, this is if we want to do frequency. So it's changing from a frequency of 5,500 hertz down to a frequency of 3,300 hertz. And that change represents roughly 40%. So you could imagine if we double click and change this to zero, this is neutral. This is from the key of F to the key of F. This is from this hertz to this hertz, which is the same. So if I want to make it a higher pitch, we have it above zero. We have this percent change be above zero. If I want to make it a lower pitch, this is below in the negative. So let's let's make it. Um, let's just make my voice a tiny bit lower. Let's go down. Um, let's go down like just twenty percent lower. Maybe like this, twenty one percent lower. And hit OK. So the speed is the same. You see, it didn't change the size of this. It's still lasting about four and a half seconds, but it's going to be a lower. Let's play it and see if it sounds different. Test audio testing one, two, three. Okay, so I'm going to undo that. Let's now it's back to normal. Test audio testing one, two, three. I can double click and we can change the, the pitch again. And we, this time we can make it high. We can make it be above zero. So we come over here to above zero and let's make it 20% faster than it originally was recorded in. So we go okay. This is test audio testing one, two, three. All right, so there we go. We've got, we've changed, we can change the speed. We, if we go to effects, change speed, that changes how quickly it's played or slowly it's played, and it also changes the pitch. So speed do, uh, does both. Speed is basically doing pitch and tempo at the same time. Pitch obviously just does the pitch, the, if it's high or low, and tempo just does the speed and keeps the pitch constant. So play with those three, and then I want to show you one more thing. If we just go File, New, and we bring in uh, this audio file, I'll go open this jazz guitar. So suppose we know what key this is in, this, this music. Let's say it's in the key of G, maybe. So if, if this is in the key of G, and we want to, trans we want to change this, someone sends us uh, some music, and they say, hey, we're trying to sync this together with like another piece of music or, I, or they, or they want to have someone accompany and play along with it, but they need it to be in the key of F and not the key of G. We can go, okay, cool. We go to effects, we go to change pitch, and then we can change it. So we can say change it from the key of G to the key of F. <laughs> and then we go, okay. And so I just changed the key on there. Now if we play, it sounds kind of the same, right? But it actually is different. We'll play this and I'll do undo and we'll see. We go undo. See, so it's lower. The music sounds, sounds the same, but you've just changed the key. And so that's why it's kind of nice um, with this that it lets you, oops, uh, effects, change pitch. It's nice that it lets you do that if you do know the key that it's in. Um, that's why this is that's why this is pretty nice for changing uh, music. And then as far as voice goes, you might just use the frequencies or the slider. Well, hope that made uh, sense to you. Go ahead and play with these different effects. And uh, you're welcome to click on some of these other ones too. You'll notice they all work kind of similarly. Sometimes it'll bring up a dialog box, sometimes it won't. But we'll be looking at some more of these in future tutorials. Appreciate you watching. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, leave your questions below. And I hope to see you in the next video.